Hello citizens, in this video we're going to talk about sales, war bonds, and ship upgrades, and how you can save yourself a little bit of cash. So let's get started. So there's currently a free fly event happening, with a few sales in the pledge store. So there's likely a number of new players that are considering picking up a game package. If you're not sure what ship you should get, you can check out my video on what starter package to choose from the tab above. Then come back and watch the rest of this video. But what if you already know what ship package you want, but the one you're looking at isn't on sale? Perhaps it's the Avenger Titan or the Cutlass Black at this time. Well, don't worry, there's still a way you can take advantage of the sales going on with the game packages. Simply buy the game package that has the best deal but is still below the price of the ship you actually want. Then you can cross chassis upgrade or CCU to the ship you actually want even if it's a ship that's not part of any of the game packages. When you upgrade, it upgrades from the ship's full value. Usually the game packages are about $15 more than the ship's base price, and that covers your access to the persistent universe. So for example, the Aurora and the Mustang packages are $45 regular price, but the actual value of each of these ships is $30. So if you wanted, for example, the Avenger Titan game package, simply buy the Aurora or the Mustang game package that's on sale. Then upgrade that ship to the Avenger Titan and simply pay the $25 difference. And you'll still have saved yourself $4.50. Now at first this may not seem like much, but it leads me to my next tip about using war bond ships to save you money in the long run, especially if you're considering eventually upgrading to one of the larger ships. Suppose you already have an Avenger Titan package, but you really want to go all in with something like the Cutlass Black. But you don't want to melt your ship because maybe your current package has something like LTI attached to it. Well, if you just did a straight upgrade from the Titan to the Cutlass Black, that would cost you $45. However, you may have noticed at this time, there's actually a War Bond ship that's available, and it falls right in between this upgrade. In this example, it's the Reliant Core. If you upgrade to the Reliant Core War Bond, then upgrade to the Cutlass Black, you'll actually save yourself $5. Again, it doesn't seem like much, but if you keep an eye out for these War Bond deals, you can save yourself a fair amount of money, especially if you're considering gradually upgrading to one of the more expensive ships. For example, at this time there's also a War Bond deal on the Cutlass Red, so you could take advantage of this if you're eventually maybe upgrading to, say, a Prospector or a, one of those other ships that are above that price point. But what if there's a War Bond ship that you know you're eventually going to upgrade past, but you just don't have the funds to do a full upgrade at that time? Well, if you select the War Bond upgrade, you can pick a ship that is really close in value to it, and sometimes pay just $5 to lock in maybe a $15 savings, or get a ship that has an LTI package attached to it. But keep in mind that you'll eventually need to upgrade to that first ship that is part of that upgrade. So if it's a ship that isn't regularly in the pledge store, you might need to wait until it is available in order to apply that upgrade. Another thing to keep in mind is that you typically can only upgrade a CCU to a ship that is of higher value than the one that you're upgrading. So you can't switch from the Aurora to the Mustang or vice versa because both these ships are the same price. Now it's true, you could melt the ship or game package, but remember that you're only credited exactly what you've paid for that ship or package. You're not credited the current value. So for example, if you were to melt an Aurora game package that you bought on sale, you're only credited exactly what you paid for it. The same goes for ships that go up in value. If you were to spend $100 on a ship and then it suddenly went up in price to $200, if you go to upgrade that ship, you'll be credited the higher price. But if you decide to melt it, you'll lose that $100 bonus credit that goes along with that ship. Because that $100 bonus, when it went up in value, that's not money you actually spent on that ship. It simply went up in value. So hopefully that helps some of you who are looking to take advantage of sales or even war bonds in the pledge store. And if you have any questions, please feel free to put it in the comments below. So, 
If you made it this far in the video, thank you. If you're thinking of signing up to play Star Citizen, use my referral on the screen, or I have a link to it in the description below. Like if you like this video, click subscribe if you really liked it, tell all your friends, and until the next video, keep your helmets on, citizens.